we think of fleas and ticks as nuisance animals, uh, nuisance parasites, but they also can make your pet extremely ill. And we'd like to avoid that. It's much easier to, before there's a problem, put a plan in place, then wait until they're sick with something and we're trying to get rid of the, the parasite organisms and make them feel better. We're in the height of flea season in our area. Ooh, and Hobbs has fleas. In addition to finding this live flea right here, do you see the little pieces of dark material in there? So what we do is we put the material on a white paper towel and we wet it. And if it's digested blood, it'll actually have a red tint to it and that'll allow us to tell that he wasn't just out rolling around in the driveway. He actually has flea dirt and you kind of rub it. Flea excrement. We just call it flea dirt though, so there's a good one. You can see the red coming off of that chunk right there. But that's what allows us to tell as it kind of dissolves that this is flea dirt. So what's going on at home with Jack? Uh, he's itching and biting and... Okay. Causing mess. <laughs> okay, and how itchy is he? One is eh, he itches some, and five is he's keeping your whole house awake at night. Uh, five. <laughs> okay, okay. gives me kind of an idea what we have to work with. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, little response back here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See, we're pretty itchy. <laughs> And we have a naked spot back here. See how there's this little triangle of hair that's mm -hmm. much thinner? Let's run a flea comb down Jack and just see. But if you're having a problem. Oh yes. So it's pretty fine, but you can actually see that in the palm of my hand crawling around. But there's that one. And this is a mature adult flea. So, the number one thing is we've got to get this flea problem under control. And what I'm going to do is give him a tablet of a flea medication that will give me fast kill of the adults on him so that I can get him comfortable quickly. Fleas are blood feeding parasites that cause itchiness on your pet. Ticks are also blood feeding and they can spread a variety of diseases, most commonly Lyme disease in this area. Get some rubbing alcohol, just kind of we'll soak it for a little while. It kills them. What happens is, um, let's say this particular tick has the Lyme bacteria inside it, called Borrelia. It has to be exposed to the blood, and then it undergoes a change, and that takes two to three days. Mm -hmm. If you remove it early on, before that change occurs, you're good. You're good. Okay. It's important to get pets in here once a year so that you can get to problems before they uh, become unsolvable. He didn't have much of a hold anymore. Now, I think the moral of the story is don't drink too much alcohol. <laughs> and he just did. We can keep these organisms, these parasites, off of your pet and out of your household. And prevention is much better than going in ahead of time than once you already have a problem and trying to bring things back under control. <laughs>